Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. First thing this morning, very first video I did at 7am, uh, which is a short, actually made it last night, uh, ready to go. But it was a short talking about a possible rebellion within the SNP over the Hate Crime Act. Uh, we have a discussion and then vote tomorrow, led by the Tories. They're putting their business days up and, and they're doing this uh, repeal the Hate Crime Act. And it's said that all the Tories will vote for it. A lot of the Labour are now saying that they possibly see that it needs either to be repealed or changed. The Lib Dems are going the same. Even though Labour and the Lib Dems both voted for it, they're saying that the implementation of it has been, let's just say, not what they were led to believe it would be. And they see that it is now a very bad bill. Now, of course, even if all those people voted against it, the SNP Greens do have the majority vote, and so it's not likely to pass. However, however, and it's a big however, it wouldn't take many SNP people to swing, as I mentioned in my short this morning. It may be a lot more gruesome than maybe Hamza Yousaf is prepared for, because it seems that there is a lot of dissent within the ranks of the SNP over this bill, and people are getting a bit uppity and people are seeing that weak as he is Hamza Youssef can be um, challenged on it because he doesn't have the full backing of the party it's going to be a very interesting vote tomorrow so we will keep an eye on it but let's have a look to see where it's all going a bit wrong for Hamza here goes now, one of the problems Hamza Youssef has got is that he does not have authority. He does not have that ability that Sturgeon definitely had to say, right, this is what's happening. And if you don't like it, you're in trouble. People look at him and just think, yeah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. He's yesterday's man already. He may be sitting in the big seat, but he's not a leader. And they're seeing that. And so there is dissent. Dissent is boiling over. Uh, and there are a lot of people complaining about this hate crime act, as well as other issues. And they're seeing that this could be the chance on a, let's just say, minor issue to help oust Hamza and help put a bit of clear green water between, or clear yellow water, should I say, more, uh, between the SNP and the Greens. Um, and they try and oust them from power. So it's it, there's a lot more going on at stake, I think, than just the Hate Crime Act. I think they're just using this, but it is nonetheless an interesting tool that they've chosen to use. So Hamza Yousaf facing an embarrassing rebellion unless he makes changes to the Hate Crime Act. There is reportedly unrest within the already fractured SNP ranks regarding the controversial new hate crime laws, with some NAT MPs demanding they be altered. Now, he won't alter them because to alter them would indicate that he got something wrong in the first place and we all know a little narcissist uh, ego ego maniac like Hamza Yousaf can't ever uh, admit that he was wrong so he'll say no 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 this may lead to people either abstaining or in extremists voting against and I wouldn't be surprised if one or two actually did and it only needs I think three or four votes against by the SNP and assuming all the other parties vote against it as well then it will fail. And if a law brought in by Hamza Yousaf fails, that is humiliating to say the least. And it could even be a resignation matter. Or at least it would be if he had any shreds of decency, which he doesn't. So Hamza Yousaf could be facing the rebellion over his controversial hate crime law unless he agrees to overhaul it. The First Minister is under pressure from within his own party to make changes in response to widespread concerns about the Hate Crime and Public Order Scotland Act. It comes ahead of a Holyrood vote on Wednesday for, on calls for the legislation, which came into force at the start of the month, to be repealed. Senior legal figures and police officers are those who have highlighted problems with implementing the law. When you've got like, very, very senior legal minds saying that this law is a bad law, and you have the police complaining because they can't deal with it because it's such a bad law, Perhaps you ought to listen to them and say, hmm, maybe it is a bad law, and repeal it. Uh, Lord Hope of Craighead, who was Scotland's most senior judge as Lord Justice General and also Deputy, of the Pre Deputy President of the Supreme Court, last week said that the hate crime law 
is unworkable for the police, dismissing it as gesture politics. He said thousands of allegations of hate crime have been lodged by members of the public since day one when it came into force and many continue to go because it's the sort of law that has to be repealed by obedience. You know, ma malevolent or malicious compliance, I think is the term. Uh, so comply by the law. Do exactly what he said. Challenge. Create, you know, complain. Do it, do it, do it. And once, and the police are, overwhelmed, the police will be going there and saying, for God's sake, help, we're drowning here. And we all knew it would happen. Uh, the Act introduces new offences for threatening or abusive behaviour, which is intended to stir up hatred, which previously only applied to race. And the new law can even be broken within private family homes. When the bill was pushed through Hollywood, Mr Yousaf, when he was Justice Secretary in 2021, two NAT MSPs, Joan McAlpine and Alex Neal, abstained in the final vote, although both subsequently stood down. I think there may be more abstentions. Um, I think there'll be a few abstentions that, like I said, there may be one or two voting against. It may be enough to carry the Tory vote. And that is the big danger for Hamza Yousaf. For him to lose a vote on his own personal law would be devastating for him. It would remove, finally, the last vestige of authority that he has. And it may even lead to people saying, Hamza, fine, thanks very much for all your service. You want to get sod off now we'll give someone else a go kate and then she comes and then out go the greens and that is possibly why this could be a trojan horse for kate forbes in order to get rid of the greens maybe we'll see uh, anyway it's understood that there is further unrest about the implementation of the law within sections of the smp including the failure to include women among the protected characteristics that's not uh, an accident of course if you make women a protected characteristic then women can say well we don't want a man in a women's safe space no siree bob and women's prisons could not have men in because women would be designated as a as a you know as a an entity and while that's not there while it's not defined then they can put men into women's prisons they can allow men into women's changing rooms that's why that was left out uh, the Scottish Conservatives would use opposition business time at Holyrood to force a vote on scrapping the legislation. Uh, the party's motion reads that the Scottish Parliament believes the Hate Crime and Public, Scorda, Public Order Scotland Act 2021 should be repealed if the Justice Secretary Angela Constance fails to acknowledge the need to respond to calls for reforms during tomorrow's debate. Some NAT MSPs may decide to abstain or vote with their opponents. And at that moment that would be the end of it it would go uh, russell findley he's the one bringing this uh now holds his future in his hand let us hope that sense reigns supreme that the tories labor lib dems and those few very few decent smp uh, msps stand firm get this act repealed embarrass him humiliate him and ultimately weaken his leadership to the point where he has to go and with it, the Greens. I'll come up. It will certainly be interesting to see tomorrow's result. Three or four. It only needs three or four votes against by SNP, the decent SNP MSPs, for there are a few, as we know. And that could be enough. A few abstentions as well. That will definitely help. Get them there defeat this bill, repeal the bill, force the changes, get rid of Hamza Yousaf, get rid of the Greens, and all of this achievable in one small bill over one stupid little act. Hamza Yousaf really has no political nous whatsoever, has he? If he thought that this, this hate law would stand, this, let's call it what it is, this blasphemy law, this anti-Islamic blasphemy law, it's never going to stand and we should be free to tell people exactly what we think of them and their ideas. Hate is not what this is about. And we all know it. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. I'll end there. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video and I'll speak to you later. Bye.